Just imagine if you need to find out height of a tree or a pole or a building. What are you going to do? Suppose you are flying a kite and you want to find out how much high your kite is flying. How will you find out? Are you physically going to measure the height? No. Without actually measuring it, is it possible to find out the height of a tall building, pole or a tree? Yes. We will use some mathematical techniques to measure the height of an object, which comes under the branch of mathematics called trigonometry. About 2000 years ago, the Greek astronomer Hipparchus gave the name trigonometry to this branch of mathematics. You must be wondering why this is called trigonometry? It sounds like something extremely complicated. But let us split the word. Trigon means three angles. That is a triangle. And metry means to measure. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies triangles and the relationships between the length of their sides and the angles between those sides. As it is difficult to measure the height of the top of a hill or breadth of a vast river, but this can be done easily with the help of trigonometry. To talk about trigonometry, we first need a right angle triangle. Let us imagine an instance in real life situation where we find a right angle triangle. Suppose a boy is standing on the ground and flying a kite. Can you find any right angle triangle in this particular situation? Let's consider the string of the kite as one side of the triangle. The perpendicular height of the kite from the ground as another side of the triangle. The horizontal ground as another side of the triangle. So what do we have over here? A right angle triangle. So with a right angle triangle and with knowledge of trigonometry, finding heights or speed or distance becomes an easy job. Let us take a right angle triangle A, B, C. Consider angle A, C, B as theta as an angle and let's name the sides of this triangle with respect to theta. Now, side A, B is known as the opposite side and side B, C is known as the adjacent side. Side A, C is the hypotenuse as it is opposite to 90 degree. Hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right angle triangle. Hope you enjoyed learning.